WWE superstar Cody Rhodes joins us now as WrestleMania 40 is a Saturday and Sunday live from Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. You'll be part of the main event each night. Uh, I want to talk about that entrance, though, because it looks amazing. Pretty fly. The, the crowd, they go, whoa! <laughs> along with you as you do, you know, you lean your head back and all that stuff. What is that feeling like? I saw you watching it. You look like you were smiling and enjoying just watching yourself go through that. How, how is it? I feel like it's a, it's a shot of adrenaline, like straight to the heart. With the schedule we have and how we're going, sometimes you might be on a low and then you have that moment, the pyro, the music, and then the collective energy. Because that's the biggest thing about pro wrestling and sports entertainment. Can you touch them right you know? yeah, can yeah. you can you and for them to do that for me they've made that songs I've had that song everywhere I went mm. now it's become this thing that we woe together I love it listen man you talking to a dude right now I mean I go back many years <laughs> right, right, from the NWA to the WWF to the WWE I love my wrestling man I'm so proud of what y'all do I think that y'all are just absolute experts in the world of entertainment I'm a huge fan I gotta ask you this I saw The Rock slap you. <laughs> he did. At a press conference. He did. He slapped you, man. You, 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 yeah. know, you know, you as, as Charlie, you know, Charlie Murphy, the late Charlie Murphy, God rest his soul, in, in Dave Chappelle's video said, you don't slap a man. You understand? <laughs> but he slapped you. Ultimately, you ended up getting him back. I want you to tell us, what is the return of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, meant to the sport, meant to you personally? Mm. I think it's different than everyone anticipated. The Rock is a Mount Rushmore pro wrestler, sports entertainer. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you ask anybody, who's your Mount Rushmore? The Rock is on it. Mm -hmm. However, he came back thinking, oh, I'll just step into the main event with Roman Reigns, me and my cousin, gonna do this family thing. And I was so blessed that the fans did, did not want that. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to finish the story. WrestleMania 40, kicking back from WrestleMania 39. Because of that, the byproduct is the final boss rock. And the final boss, the only comparison I can make in terms of just watching him from the outside looking in, feels very Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Mm. Okay. Very, it's, it's a whole nother right. layer. Isn't that a great thing? And that's, I don't want to say all kinds of positive things about The Rock, <laughs> but I, I, I can tell you that's the staying power. Like, right. you turned this and made this into something incredibly different and unique right. and very special. The Rock, Roman Reigns, Bloodline. You've been, you know, you got a few spans in about a year now. What has that been like for you? Oh. What's it done for oh. you? Well, you're coming off of WrestleMania 39. That's the Super Bowl of what we do mm -hmm. in the WWE and pro wrestling in general. And it felt amazing to be in the main event. Mm -hmm. Amazing. My father was never in the main event. My brother was never in the main event in mm -hmm. terms of a WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. So hard to get there. But then I lost. Mm -hmm. And I took the long walk. And even with the suspension of disbelief in what we do, what's real, what isn't, that's a tough loss. Mm -hmm. It's tough to look at 80,000 yeah. people and, hey, it's going to be okay. It's tough. But no. the whole time, right. it was just about getting back. Can I get back? Right. And I was always on track to get back. Mm -hmm. And The Rock threw a little wrinkle on that. But we're still there. We're heading to Russell. Let's Ford. pause for one second mm -hmm. here because you said your daddy. And you don't just throw out your daddy without ever reminding everybody who this man. We talking about Dustin Rhodes, the American dream. That's what we talking about, okay? That's your daddy. Um, when you look at yourself and what you've been able to accomplish in your career, how much credit do you give to him, what he's meant to your wrestling career? And in terms of your own aspirations, what do you foresee for yourself, knowing what, no pun intended, but your bloodline? Sure. What that entails. Well, Dusty would often uh, refer to himself uh, as a super genius. Mm -hmm. he, that was a, I'm a super genius. And okay. uh, he would claim that osmosis of super genius, if you were around him, mm -hmm. you would get some of that. I hope I did. I hope I got some super genius. Right. However, I am far more like my mom. Okay. N mean old little Cuban lady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who, who, ready to fight. Right. <laughs> at all that. times, right. and just a work ethic like no other. Because mm -hmm. I, I feel like I didn't have the dusty charisma, or I didn't even have my brother's height and athleticism, but I thought, I got my mom's go. Yeah. And that's, that's what's got me there. So I, I, I feel like so many of the decisions I made with leaving WWE, creating yeah. a, an alternative promotion, AEW. all these things I've done, right. uh, they were things that my dad probably would have said, don't, mm -hmm. don't. But I had to get out there and do it. I had to rattle those cages. I had to leave home to be treated like an adult. And yeah. it's, it's all worked out.
<laughs> okay, so it all comes down to this weekend, right? Uh, we're looking forward to it, obviously. Uh, can we expect you to finish your story this weekend? Well, if I don't finish the story, mm -hmm. I might as well move over to commentary at that point. I might as, I might, I might as well hit the booth because this... It's not a, a bad thing. It's a lot of money. <laughs> no. <laughs> a lot of money. But <laughs> there's a... There's a thing we, in, in, in our world, the good guy, you'll hear him referred to as the baby face, right? Mm -hmm. It's hard enough to be a good guy in 2024. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've rode with me, these fans. Yeah. They've been supportive. They've created the We Want Cody movement, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So if I lost again, mm -hmm. I feel like you lose their faith. And, and more than anything, even if I didn't believe WrestleMania 40 that I was leaving undisputed WWE Champion, if I didn't believe, they believe. So I, I, I got to do it for them. Yeah. And I believe, I believe, right. but they believe. So how much pressure do you feel? I mean, you, you just said it. I mean, I didn't say it. You broke it down like that. I mean, considering the pressure that you yeah. just applied to yourself, is it possible that, that, that you're heaping a bit too much pressure on yourself and that could work the other way in your mind? I'm of the thought that put all the pressure on. Put it all. I want to be up at the plate, bottom of the ninth. Give me all, give me all mm -hmm. the pressure. I just, I feel that's the only way I can will it into existence. Put the goal out there. Mm -hmm. Have the world hear it so that I can't, I can't not get it. Now pressure though, in terms of Saturday is completely different to Sunday because Sunday's Roman Reigns. That's the match that I've been dreaming of, the match that I want. Saturday is a returning rock, 12 years outside the ring, mm -hmm. but clearly can still go. Right. And myself and Seth Rollins against him and Roman Reigns. That has a bearing on Sunday. That happens if they win Saturday, Sunday is well, a free But what the hell? I mean.